will be Stephen Benson. Hi. Uh, thank you for this forum. That shows a lot of courage. Um, I have three specific questions regarding policing. Uh, last month, my two sisters and I, one sister teaches at Rancho Mirage High, the other teacher, other sister is a registered nurse at a prison, state prison in Norco. At that demonstration, which I see a lot of faces here that I saw there, people were masked, people were observing physical distance, and it was a celebratory Despite the subject, it was a celebratory gathering. We started that. There were community service officers in uniform and unarmed. When we finished, my sisters and I turned around to leave, and we saw ourselves surrounded by Palm Springs armed police. Okay? What I want to know is what was the message being sent and also how much did that stunt cost our police department? The next question is how many lawsuits against the Palm Springs police are currently active? And what is the cost, both the cost of defense and the cost of potential awards? In the past, how many lawsuits has the Palm Springs Police Department lost? And how much did that cost us? These issues must be addressed. Now, the next and most important issue I have to bring up is on the COVID-19 response. If we do not manage this pandemic, Nothing else we do or talk about here will matter a lick. We need to bring back masking, and it needs to be enforced. If we need to pass a city ordinance that establishes a fine, if the police need money, let's give them 30% from every ticket they write for not being masked, for not observing distances, for opening a business that should be closed. This is important to me because I'm in several of the, re of the risk categories. I'm old. And I have COPD. And I recently went through a summer of chemotherapy. This disease will quite likely kill me. And it needs to be addressed. Thank you. The next speaker.